Welcome to Literally Nutritious. Hi, I'm Lori Monroe Sigfordson, and I'm the Active Healthy Living Consultant for the Tri-County Regional Center for Education. Before we begin, I want to recognize that we are on the unceded territory, which has long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst the indigenous peoples of Mi'kmaq. We honor, recognize, and respect this nation as the traditional stewards of the lands and waters on which we stand today. Welcome to Drumlin Heights. You are now standing in the Drumlin Heights kitchen, and I'm your chef today, Jason Murphy. Usually I'm the principal of the school, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to make baked beans. So, a few things about making baked beans. Uh, step number one is you have to soak the beans. So, why do beans soak in so long in water before cooking? The longer the beans soak, the softer they will be. And let's face it, nobody wants to chew on crunchy beans. Uh, so, soak the beans overnight for 10 to 12 hours. Uh, the next thing you're going to do, we're going to chop onion and garlic into small pieces. Uh, small pieces will mix well in the beans um, and make every single bean burst with flavor. So to get your beans off to a good start, don't open the lid of your slow cooker uh, in the first two hours. It's going to be tempting. Don't do it. After six hours of cooking, stir the beans and taste and add more seasoning if desired. Don't let the beans dry out. Keep an eye on, the, on your beans towards the end of the cooking, and if they start drying up before they're soft enough, add more liquid to the pot. Mix well, continue cooking, and don't go overboard. Just add a quarter to a half a cup at a time as needed. How do you know if the beans are done? The beans are done when they're soft and creamy and the sauce is very thick. Baked beans taste delicious with baked brown bread and sliced cucumbers and tomatoes on the side. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is introduce the equipment you're gonna to need to make this recipe. Uh, so the first thing you need, of course, is your slow cooker. Um, so here we have a beautiful slow cooker. Uh, next, you're going to need a cutting board. Uh, so we have our cutting board here, as well as a knife. Along with the knife and cutting board, you're going to need a strainer, in addition to that, you're going to need a mixing spoon. So here we have a wooden mixing spoon to use. Uh, and then you're going to need some measuring spoons and measuring cups. So here we have our collection of measuring cups and we have our collection of measuring spoons as well. And the last thing we'll need is a couple mixing bowls. So here's a, an example of the mixing bowl that we're gonna use. All right, so now it's time to introduce the ingredients you're gonna need from your box. Uh, the first and possibly the most important are the beans. Um, so you're gonna need two pounds of dried beans. You can use soldier beans or navy beans. Here we've, we've got some white navy beans. You're going to need to have two onions, which we will dice up for this. And the next thing we need is dried mustard. So we have a pack of dried mustard right here. Uh, brown sugar, which we have here. And molasses right here. And the next thing on our list is salt, which we have right here. And we need some vinegar, which we have right here. And in addition to that, and not included in your box, we're going to need uh, six cups of boiling water. And we have that prepping on the stove right now. So, as we carry on, I would like to introduce one of uh, our team members here at Drummond Heights. Uh, Mr. Jordan Pierce, Vice Principal, is going to join us here for the cooking show. Uh, and he's going to take you through the next step. And the next step is to prepare the beans and get ready to cook. Uh, so, Mr. Pierce, take it away. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. All right, so we're going to start by placing the dried beans that we have into our bowl. We'll open it up to get it ready to soak in our bowl. So we're going to add them to the bowl. We'll just add a little at this point. And we're going to add the water to let them soak overnight. 
so that they're ready to go. So we're going to take the beans after they've soaked for the night for 24 hours and drain them out so that we can put them into our slow cooker as we're done. So we're doing it one scoop at a time to not make a mess and to allow the water to drain out before I put them into the slow cooker. I do like baked beans, but I haven't had them in quite some time. And I preferred them when my mother used to make them. So that I didn't necessarily have to do all the work. So once we have them all drained out and into our slow cooker, we can start to prepare our vegetables. So I'm going to start with one of the onions and cut off the end so I can peel it. When I get off the outer layer, cut it off the heavy surface and dice up the onion. And then I'm going to set that aside into a bowl. So I'm going to get my diced onion and add it into the slow cooker with the beans before moving on to our next section. All right, so now it's time to prepare the sauce and get this mixture cooking. Um, so for the sauce, we're gonna need a bowl, a mixing bowl, which we have here. Uh, and we are going to start by adding in our dry mustard. Um, so we've got the dry mustard here and we need four teaspoons. Don't mistake teaspoons for tablespoons. I've done that before, it doesn't work. One. Two. Three. Next we need our brown sugar, um, so we a package of brown sugar here and we will grab a pair of scissors and get that opened up. So we grab our measuring cup and scoop out a half cup. sugar aside and next we need the molasses um, so we've got the molasses here and again we're going to need a half cup of molasses you can almost just drink that right out of the container there we go add that in After that, we need to add two cups of boiling water to the mixture. So we've got our pot of boiling water back here, and I'm just going to take this over to the sink and do it over here just in case I spill a little bit. So I'm still doing this in the half cup container, so I'm going to need to do it a few extra times. But I want to wash all that molassesy goodness out of the measuring cup, so that's why I'm using this cup. There's three, one more. And four. Set our measuring. 
measuring cup aside, put this back on the stove where it's safe. And the next step is to mix up our mixture. So uh, I'm going to grab a mixing spoon for this one and start to mix this up. So once we've managed to dissolve the molasses and the sugar into the water and we've mixed all that delicious dried mustard in there and gotten all the clumps out, we can go ahead and add this to the slow cooker. sink uh, and then we want to add the remaining water to the slow cooker as well. Uh, so we grab that off of the stove and dump that in. Perfect. All right so uh, next step is very simple. We got to put the cover on the slow cooker we need to plug the slow cooker in and we need to cook on low for nine to ten hours. So we'll get the cover on uh, and we will set the slow cooker on low. And I'd like to introduce our third member of our admin team here at Drumlin Heights, Colleen Dontremont is going to come in to help with the final steps here. So we have our finished product here. We've added four teaspoons, no, yeah, four teaspoons of vinegar to it after it was all done cooking. And so we are going to do a little taste test. Okay, hello everyone. So I am going to, do we have a bigger spoon? There you go. Mmm, smells good. Yeah. Thank you very much. So we're just going to separate a little bit, even though we're in the same bubble. We're going to separate to take the taste test. Here we smells go. Smells delicious. Very good. Mmm, delicious. You can definitely taste the sweetness that was added from the molasses. All right, I'm going to stop eating because it's very good. <laughs> awesome. You guys did super. It is delicious. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, we hope you have fun in the kitchen as we all have preparing this. Uh, look for more literally nutritious videos in this series highlighting easy crock pot recipes for the whole family to enjoy. Recipes can be found at www.tcrce.ca slash cook. And thank you to Mr. Murphy for helping us make this delicious meal.